Hello and welcome back to another video. So I thought I would do, hold on, that's not quite right. There we go, okay. Um, also, if you see my eyebrow twitching, just ignore it because it's been doing this for the last couple of days and I don't really know how to make it stop. But anyway, I thought I would do kind of like a video on what I'm getting my friends and family for Christmas or what I have bought them. Obviously, if you are a member of my family, then don't watch this video because you'll spoil it for yourself. I thought this would kind of serve as like a Christmas gift guide or just like inspiration because I'm, well, I'm not awful at buying presents, but I struggle with kind of like what to buy people because I don't know, I just don't want to like get the same thing every year or um, get them something they won't use or don't like kind of thing. But I think the options I've got written down are a pretty safe bet. I'm not going to specify like who I've bought what, I don't think, just in case like my sister watches this video or something like that. Yeah, like I said, it's just more of like an inspiration video. So I'm going to jump straight in with a nice set of pyjamas. It is super obvious, but I love a nice set of pyjamas and I buy like a nice it's like a not like silky but like loose flowy set for my mum every year or like most years and if you know what kind of like texture or like material that person likes then it could actually be like a really good option because i don't have a lot of pairs of pajamas that are really light and flowy but those are my favorite ones so obviously that would a nice gift to receive if you have a certain type of like pajama or lounge set that you like but isn't really the kind of thing that you would often buy yourself i think that would make a good gift but like i said it is quite an obvious one along with that fluffy socks i love fluffy socks most people love fluffy socks so if you're on a budget or want to get like little stocking filler bits then fluffy socks are a great option obviously number two is handmade items so i'm gonna do a video i think in the next couple of weeks more in depth on this because there are a couple of handmade gifts that i want to do myself for other people but things like crochet items clay items that kind of thing i think a really nice thoughtful gift if someone was like handmade them i did hello what you doing i did see an idea on tiktok that i am actually going to recreate but i will save that as a surprise for when i actually do it things like trinket trays or like photo holders or ring holders that kind of thing are good clay projects or like a coaster Come on. And then crochet projects, it would be, well, what I would make is mainly just things to like look at, not necessarily like functional things. So for example, for my sister, I want to try and crochet her a little, a little model of a cat that looks like her own cat. I haven't figured out how to do that yet or found a pattern that I want to use, but hopefully I will find the time to do that as well and i'll incorporate that into my diy video or if you're not very creatively inclined then just something like printing out a nice photo and putting it in a picture frame is just as personal or making a picture frame might be quite nice but again if you're not really creative and don't enjoy like arts and crafts then maybe not so third option or third idea would be like some sort of like self-care gift set so i love to receive anything self-care based anything new i like to try like creams or like face serums that kind of thing i quite often buy my family members things from lush we all love lush they do great gift sets um i think most most girls most women like lush i haven't really met anyone that dislikes lush so that's always a super safe bet. They've always got like loads and loads of nice, fun, like gift sets. Obviously they've got like their snow fairy out at Christmas time. It smells great. It's limited edition, which is why I think people like it so much because you can only get it at Christmas. I've currently got the snow fairy shampoo, which I think is new to this, this year because I don't think they've ever had the shampoo before, but I love it. It smells really good. It's got glitter in it, but it doesn't like, put glitter in your hair or anything which is kind of disappointing i think but yeah self-care gift sets last gift sets i really like 
Lids Earl skincare. So their gift sets aren't too expensive, but it's like a little bit more like luxury, I think. Um, Liz Earl is, I normally use their cleanser or I normally like get a cleanser for Christmas because again, it's semi expensive. So it's not something I would often buy myself, but it's something that I really like to receive. It's just like a nice little Liz Earl like, gift set. So it normally includes like a cleanser, a toner, um, some cloths, that kind of thing. Another thing that kind of comes under self care is this is quite specific. So Primark have those like little towels that like have the Velcro, so you look wrap it around, and then they've got like matching head towels to go with it. So I think those two things together as well make a nice little gift, especially if you're getting them like skincare or lush or like self care stuff. It's like a whole kind of like experience then in my mind because you've got the stuff for them to like bathe or shower with and then they've got a nice fresh towel and head towel when they come out of the bath or shower so I think that ties in nicely if you are getting them that kind of stuff and then for men I really struggle to shop for any man in general like I never really know what to get my boyfriend never really know what to get my granddad because grandparents always say that they've got everything they need blah blah, blah. so that makes it more difficult um, what I normally get my granddad each year is just like a nice set of hotel chocolate or chocolate chocolates. I don't know if he ever really eats them. I know that he does like sweet things, so I assume he does eat them because whenever I go over, I can never like see them anywhere. So I normally get him a nice box of chocolates, maybe some socks, which I know is quite boring, but like everybody needs some salt. One year he did ask for a new torch, which is random, but he says when he lets the dogs out at night so he can see where they are in the garden because they've got quite a big garden. Um, and he loved it. He absolutely loved it. Like it was just a, I think it was like 20 pounds from Amazon and it was like one of those like really bright ones, but he like literally wouldn't stop talking about it for like a couple of weeks. So if you have grandparents with like pets or if they, ever need to be outside in the dark maybe like a really bright torch would like be cool um but yeah he did actually really like it quite often even though it's boring like clothes for men or like trackies that kind of thing because i'm not sure about anyone else but my partner doesn't really buy himself clothes or that kind of thing so most years i'll just get him like a new nice new pair of trackies or like pair of trainers something like that. One year I did get him a pair of Crocs because he doesn't have any or didn't have any and he wears them like every day. So if you think your partner will wear Crocs, then Crocs is a good one because they're really easy to slip on. They're comfortable and yeah, he wears them like most days. I've actually asked for Crocs myself this year because I saw the Jelly Cat Croc charms and now I really want the Crocs and I really want the Jelly Cat Croc charms that you can get on TikTok shop. So that is gone. That's on my Christmas list as well. For my nan, Again, she normally says that she doesn't want anything, but normally I get her like some sort of like hand cream or that kind of thing, like bath stuff. She really likes the Karma soap from Lush. So somebody normally gets her some Karma soap, although I'm pretty sure she still has a lot left over from the years that we've like already gifted it to her. I probably won't get her any more this year just because I think she's already got quite a lot um but i think like elderly people generally quite like soap so <laughs> maybe just like a bar of like an actual bar of soap from lush because although i love lush i don't buy like bars of soap just because i don't know like i don't need bars of soap i've got like hand wash if that makes sense but i think elderly people like soap so maybe just a nice bar of soap from lush maybe even karma maybe it's a universal thing. All old ladies love karma from Lush. Who knows? For things like friends or like secret Santas, that kind of thing, normally I would go with obviously something that's like budget friendly or just like pretty universal. So like a nice mug or B&M do a lot of nice cheap gift sets. So like body wash sets or even like little cocktail sets, I think are really fun. Obviously make sure the person drinks before you get them an alcoholic gift. Um, because that would be awkward otherwise but or like hot chocolate set if they don't i love hot chocolate sets i've just got a velvetizer from hotel chocolat i think that's how you pronounce it i'm really not sure which is actually an early christmas present so 
it's what my boyfriend has got me for Christmas, but because it's like hot chocolate season, he said I could have it early. So I'm enjoying that. So that hot chocolate set, or if they've got like any kind of milk frother, then the actual hotel chocolate sachets would work in just like a normal milk frother. Um, but yeah, I got the I got the belvetizer because I wanted to be a bit more bougie. But I posted a TikTok about it the other day actually, and um, some like random like middle aged lady commented like, "Not good, no froth," and I was like, "It's not a froth, like it's not a frother." It's a belletizer, it doesn't froth, which <laughs> I was like, I just, I replied to my comment, don't buy one then, because I was like, what is the point in that comment? Some people are just out there to hate. And I was like, whatever. It actually kind of just made me laugh, because I was like, what kind of comment is that? Like, this is so weird. But yeah, um, the velvetizer does not froth, because it's not a milk frother. So if you are looking to buy like a, a velvetizer, don't expect it to make your hot chocolates really frothy because again it's not a frother but if you do have a big budget and you're buying for like a sister or a mum or anybody that likes hot hot milk or <laughs> hot chocolates then a velvetizer is a good option as well but i think it is i think it's 70 pounds if you're part of the hotel chocolate club which is just free you can just sign up put your email down and you can get 30 pounds off of it so it's a good hack if you've got someone that likes hot chocolate and you've got a bigger budget. Um, me personally, I'm on quite a tight budget this year because if you watched my, like the vlog that had like a budgeting segment in, then I am, um, I've like removed my credit cards from my phone. I'm not touching them anymore. And I'm just budgeting what I have for each month. So then I know exactly how much I can spend outside of my bills, which doesn't happen to be a lot at the moment because like I explained in that video, I changed jobs, I've taken less hours, I've taken less money per hour just because my last job sucked and I hated it. So anyway, I took a pay cut, but I've still got enough money for bills, so that's all that matters. And it's also one of the reasons I'm doing like the DIY video in the next couple of weeks because I love DIY gifts. It's super budget friendly if you already have these materials lying around. If not, you can pick up these materials like super cheaply, especially from places like TikTok shop or whatever. But yeah, look out for that one. If you wanted to see that when I do finally upload it in the next couple of weeks, then obviously feel free to subscribe. Also something else that I think is quite a good gift for anyone really is like those experience vouchers. So I know Virgin do a lot of different experiences. They can be quite expensive, but you can get cheaper ones on places like voucher, or those kind of websites where you can get like paintballing experiences or probably like adrenaline quarry experiences, that kind of thing, which I have done before. And let me tell you, if you don't have very good cardio, then you are gonna struggle because I literally nearly died at adrenaline, adrenaline quarry. There's a place in Cornwall where it's like this inflatable course on the water and I haven't been swimming in ages. I've never, I haven't jumped in a body of water in probably like 15 years. So like I jump in the water, I don't like exhale or like hold my nose or anything. So I guess all the water goes up in, into my nose and like into my side, like obviously I'm holding my breath, but I guess the water still, still gets in your nose obviously. And I literally go into like some sort of like fight or flight response and I can't, I can't breathe and I'm out of breath for the whole experience and it's an hour I'm exhausted by the end of it. I'm literally wiped out. But yeah, I'm not really selling it, but my I went with my friend and she loved it. So some people love it, some people nearly die. Um, but yeah, like the experience vouchers, I think are a really good alternative gift if they don't care much for like belongings or there isn't really anything that they need to have then I think those kind of things would be nice. Or if you know them well enough, maybe like an Airbnb voucher so they can go on a night away. Yeah, I'm gonna wrap it up here. Um, hopefully that has given you some ideas, some inspiration. Again, these are based on gifts that I am giving or have given in the past myself. Obviously I don't wanna give too much away because if my sister or my mum watches this video, then they might know what they're getting, obviously, I haven't specified so it could be anything hopefully this video has been helpful um thank you so much for watching if you did enjoy please feel free to like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next one